Do you want to install Samsung Experience ROM on your Redmi 5 Plus? If yes, then watch the video till the end. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe button. First of all, download the file from the links given in description. Unzip the files with system and vendor images. Copy all the vendor files from vendor folder and paste it inside the Samsung Experience folder. Now boot into any Trebus Porter recovery and wipe all the partitions. It's time to attach your device to PC. Open the internal storage of your device and create a folder with name of Fox if you are using Orange Fox Recovery. Inside Fox folder, make new folder, name it as Backups, and make new folder inside Backups, name it randomly. Copy all the files from Samsung Experience folder to the backup folder created inside the internal storage. Now go to Mount tab and mount or remount the system and vendor partition. After that simply restore the vendor and system. Do not restore the boot. After complete restore, now copy the fixes, uh, the files, uh, patch 1, patch 2 and sound fix for all. Copy these patches inside the internal storage as this is a port so you need to install the fixes. Now mount the vendor and system partitions again. Now install the zips in order, patch 1, patch 2 and sound fix and swipe to install. That's all, now reboot to system. First booth may take several minutes. Here you can see the Samsung logo.
let the device boot up set up the device normally just uncheck the circuit at the last of setup bar by the subset that may interrupt the system stability For Google App Store, download GS Pico package. Pico G apps are recommended that they are much stable than other packages. Reboot to recovery and flash the G app zip normally. Wait for complete installation. Now reboot to system. GFs are installed successfully and working fine. First of all, in display setting, it have the blue light filter, which is working amazingly, and it provides very comfortable transition effect on switching off or uh, switching on the filter. The settings for Font and screen zoom isn't working. The notification LED is also working fine. For status bar customization, there is show network speed option. Samsung Experience ROM doesn't support the full screen gesture as of MIUI 10 style full screen gestures. I'll make a guide to install the full screen gestures on the Samsung Experience ROM too. In advanced feature tab, there are many features that make this ROM unique from others. The native screen recording support is awesome as it can also record the system sounds. That is a really good feature. The system sound recording option is removed from the MOUI screen recording app. The other cool feature is direct call. By enabling this, Whenever you bring the device close to your ear, it will make a direct call to the contact whose message or contact details are on the screen. For lock screen and security settings, the fingerprint is working quite fast as for the stock ROM. The face recognition is also working but it is a bit slow. Here are good customization for notification shades on the lock screen. One more cool feature is to manually set the delay for touch and hold. Just select the custom 
and touch and hold the screen to save the delay duration manually according to your need. In my opinion, this ROM is enough stable and futuristic for daily use. But if you are a fan of MIUI, then definitely it's not for you. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel and leave your feedback. Thanks for watching.